and then you also can't can't run around saying that that people aren't free and you're trying to make people freer by telling or like you literally made the argument in this that we can't let our kids be seeing AOC playing among us because that might endear our children to her and make her cool in their eyes. Aren't you taking away their freedom to, to choose what ideology they want to follow? Like, aren't you trying to conform them into a way of life that you agree with? Isn't that taking away their freedom? Freedom comes at the cost of conformity. Like true freedom is diversity. You, you, you can't ask for homogeneity and then say everyone's free now. Now, I don't even know. I didn't even really look very hard on Rumble to even find this. I was just going through just videos and I came across this. This is from December 1st and it only has 12 views. So it's like I'm probably going to end up giving this more exposure than what it should. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to go over it and I thought you guys would enjoy it as well. So we're going to talk about it. All right. Also, love the thumbnail. Love the thumbnail. <laughs> How does it restore traditional? It, it has a Western one half and then the nuclear family on the other half. Boom. Encapsulated. Beautiful. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And I noticed recently that I've been complaining too much about things and not really talking about. Again. We are not here to make fun of the child. He is a child. We are going to make fun of his ideas, but not him. Okay. Even though this shit is LARPy as fuck. What the fuck is this shit on the wall? Okay. 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 Ignore that. Ignore that. Just listen. What we could do to reverse this track that we're on and go in a better direction. And I haven't been talking about that. So I thought of, well, what can I do? How can we restore the culture that should be restored which is tr more traditional western culture and you do whatever you want and i'll leave you alone don't tread on me flags everywhere american flags everywhere canadian flags everywhere do your own thing wait what is he canadian why would he even make that point Canadian flags everywhere like the only people give to uh, the only place in America that gives a shit about Canada is like the most northern boarding states people in fucking Georgia don't give a fuck about Canada what is he talking about is he another fucking Canadian doing this fucking nationalist American bullshit oh my god okay I, I don't. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, kid. Go ahead. The Zoomers were supposed to be better than us. Come on now. Don't don't disappoint me, kid. What 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 else do you got? What do you got? Come on. Hit me up. Just as long as, as we leave each other alone. We need to. Also, I love how he says we need to get back to traditional culture. You do what you want to do. I leave you alone. You leave me alone. Don't tread on me flat. It's like that is not traditional Western culture. Traditional the the what you would consider traditional Western culture is very intrusive into your personal rights. If you are a minority or a woman or a immigrant, like it is not what like the only people who have the right to do what they want to do and be left alone are like rich white men. And you only like meet one third or two thirds of that, you know, calculation. 
like you're just a white man, but you're not rich. I mean, so you get to enjoy some of those freedoms, but this like 1950s, 1960s like era shit that y'all trying to like return back to like what what is this you do what you want to do bullshit that is not no bullshit right genocide and slavery right store that whole thing and i was thinking that every day i would start the vi uh the first video off with a news video and then the second video would be something more like this where we talking about how to restore the Western culture, the traditional Western culture. And I think that the main way you do that is from family. You know, I, I love these older 1950s pictures that you can see up on the screen right now. They're so like, this is like literal, like Nazi propaganda, man. Like what he's doing right now, like this, like, ah, uh, yes, this is what the family sh unit should be like. Like, this is what you should aspire to. Like, all this deification of... Of, of, of... <sighs> archetypes for, 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 for how you should live and, and how society should be structured. Like, this is, like, propaganda. Like, what is you doing, kid? Where are you getting this shit from? Like, this is like all this Americana bullshit. Like, what is this? Nice to look back at these more traditional families and these better, more improved family structures of stronger, both men and women that are capable of separate things, but are still very, very capable of doing things that many men and women cannot do today so we look at world war ii what is he talking about what do you mean like women are more capable to wash dishes and raise children and men are more capable to go to work and go off to war like what what, what the, 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 you know that that people can't do today like what be drafted like what <laughs> like what are you talking about man like, what could people do in the 50s that we can't do now? Like, use a record player? Like, I don't know, work an antenna? And I think we need call to someone the N word, yeah, without repercussion. Yeah, they were better at that. One of the best generations, I think, ever, due to the fact that they were strong, capable, intelligent, and willing to sacrifice themselves for something more meaningful. And it wasn't just men, it was also women as well. Both men, strong men and strong women fought for something better. So how do we restore that? Well, Does he think that the military doesn't exist now? Does he think that we're not currently at war with like half a dozen countries? What? Like right now? Like, did, was he. What? What is he saying that we, we fought for, for something good during World War II and now we don't? He does understand that we still fight wars, right? He still understand that men and women still join the military for the most part to get out of probably fucked up economic situations, socioeconomic situations, and or some kind of belief that they're fighting for some greater cause. He he understands that, right? Huh. This is really fucking weird. <clears throat> yeah, 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 cyberspace, yeah, yeah, the cyber wars, yeah. Um, We're not doing too hot on. But I'm just really confused at what point he thinks he's making right now.
like I said, I don't want to just sit here and just like drag on this kid, and make fun of him. But I'm like, I'm I'm really struggling to understand like what. Because he started out saying like he wanted to do these segments about how to restore Western culture and but he doesn't really clarify what he means by that. So we I don't first off, I mean, from square one, I don't even know what we're restoring. I mean, it's so ambiguous. It could be literally anything, but we're restoring it through family. And world war two for reasons i'm not really sure where he's going with this i don't know maybe maybe you know he's just getting ramped up maybe maybe he will explain i think it starts off small i think that we need to allow kids um both young boys and young girls to learn about new things that require more work that require more attention more everything really we need more attention to different topics we need a better attention span to everything because m many kids nowadays cannot sit in front of a tv screen and watch the same thing for hours just because of the fact that they have been reduced their attention spans have been reduced what are these fucking boomer talking points man you're like 14 like, what is this, like, oh, kids nowadays, they don't have any attention span. Yeah, like, what are you talking? And again, what does any of this have to do with culture? Oh, man. I'm sorry. I chose a bad video. He is too young to even comprehend, like, half of what he's saying. Like, I don't... Oh, man. We're going to let him finish, but I, Jesus Christ, like, I don't, this is so bad. This is so bad. Go ahead. Deuced from YouTube, mainly social media, all of that stuff. So we can do that by, well, first of all, <laughs> these two things behind me, I have this cowboy hat, which symbolizes Western, the Wild West, which is. A great thing to look back at because it was wild. It was crazy. It was way more free. Just as long as you don't hurt anyone, do your own thing. What? Wait, wait, what? It was free for who? The natives that were being raped and murdered and having their villages burned to the ground? The, 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 the treaties that we never upheld or reneged on altogether? Is that the, the freedom to be slaughtered on your own land? Is that what? What? The freedom to be slaves? I, man, what is he talking about, man? Like, at first, I thought he was just going to do some just kind of vague gesturing towards, like, you know, Wild West iconography and shit. Like, ah, yes, the Grand Canyon and the lone cowboy looking over the hill into the sunset. Ah, oh, I just came. Like, I just thought it was going to be some dumb shit like that. But this is... What, what does he mean? Like, where is he getting... Man, I swear to God, I really... I would love to pick this kid's brain. I would love to talk to him. Do you think he, he seems as relevant as I am? So I think he would talk to me. Do you think if I reached out to him, I could get to, I could talk to him. Is his Twitter on here or probably fucking parlor? Teens for Trump. Okay, I wonder if this is the same kid. Let's see, I wonder. Try, you might be able to save it, so I wonder. Same name, but nothing. It just retweets Trump shit. 
Okay, this this is back from like 2018. Okay, this has not been active for a long time. Okay, let's let's go back. Okay, no, no. Okay, I I will I will do this on my own time later off stream, but. I wonder if I could find him. Oh, that's all from 2016, yeah. Okay. Oh shit! Damn, good job! Everything American that would never know to anyone. White people have no coach. How, how how do we know it's him for sure though? I need to see if I can find that same video in his tweets. Then I'll know for sure. I just don't want to start DMing this motherfucking like, Who the fuck are you? Like, what are you talking about? I mean, it does look like the same font. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Nope. Okay. Nope, nope, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, Iris. Thank you. You're a god. Thank you. I am going to follow this kid and I'm going to send him a DM. Okay. Well, I ain't gonna let y'all be in my DMs, but Hang on, we're gonna. <sighs> what did we watch this on Rumble? Yeah. All right, wheels have been set in motion. Thank you, thank you for the iris. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, Treat him really gently. <laughs> I, 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 I make no promises, but I'll try. I mean, but see, I, I think I'm doing pretty good right now, though. Like I said, I'm, 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 I'm here to make fun of his ideas, not of him. I am concerned for him though because I'm like, where are you getting this shit, kid? And it was so American back then, so American. You seem to be to bring back to our kids, which would build a better. Yeah, that's that's true. I I try not to get like super angry. Holy shit! Look at that mustache, fucking based. All right, let, let's go back a little bit. It was crazy. It was way more free. Just as long as you don't hurt anyone, do your own thing. Also, I love the we're the party of law and order and I'm sitting here opining about how great the Wild West was. And it was so American back then. So American. <laughs> and that's what we need to bring back to our kids, which would build a better family structure, which is really how we bring back this Western culture and make it even better is by bringing back the family but this is probably the best argument anyone could make for destroying the nuclear family hey guys we need to bring back the traditional family or we need to conserve the traditional family so that way we can eventually bring back the wild west because don't we want the wild west to come back guys
Exactly, exactly, exactly. The the very idea of trying to promote a family structure, a traditional family unit, is not freedom. You're not letting people live the way they want to live. Like, you can't say, hey, you have to live like this. Don't you love being free? Like, isn't this so much more freedom than the liberals would give you? Like, wh what? First, we need to go on to an individual level and make sure that individuals, both young men and young women. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole idea of the nuclear family is a, is a modern uh, uh, construct. Like, this is not some shit from, like, you know, passed down from generations, you know, from, from our ancestors in the mountains. Like, no. Capable, more willing, more willing to sacrifice themselves for something better, more willing to do things more meaningful, more willing to put more time and energy into things that 90% of people wouldn't. And that's what we need to do. That, that takes me off to this knife right here because I made that knife and it took all day. I had a lot of help, obviously. I couldn't do it by myself. But I think that perfectly symbolizes the small steps that we need to take in order to bring back these older Western ideas. Like building knives? If anything, a good takeaway he could have actually had from this would have actually been, hey, I made this knife and it took a lot of effort and a really long time and a lot of materials and stuff. And I couldn't do it on my own. I needed help. And that made me realize that it's really hard to tell someone that they have to take self-responsibility for all their problems. And if anything ever happens to them, it's their fault. Sometimes problems are just too big for one person to handle on their own. Sometimes you need help. Collectivism can be used for good. You know, I, I, I didn't um, grow the, the cotton and sew and dye this, these clothes that I'm wearing today. Someone else did that. It, it, it a part of a system. I, I can't exist. I didn't create the internet. I didn't build this camera and computer and microphone I'm talking on. Like, using labor collectively for the better of everybody is good. Look at what I was able to achieve by working with others. No, instead, it's this knife represents Western cowboys. I, I it's something I don't know. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask him how he's going to mandate these changes. Yeah, yeah. Really, probably pressure to what? Yeah, he would do. Yeah. And values into kids is by taking small steps and allowing them to do things that. They didn't oh think no! They could do before, which, oh no! For example, make a knife. Oh, we might have found a new friend of the show. And learn new things. Learn new things with your hands. Work with your hands and actually try to create something. Try to mold something into something you would love. Now we don't see that anymore. Okay, so maybe I've been reading him wrong this whole time. Maybe he's more traditional culture than what i realize like it, it feels like he's describing wanting to go back to like primitism like this whole like making things on your own with your hand like we don't do that anymore like like you're not a man unless you can build a fire and kill a bear and skin it and make it into clothes and and cook it and eat it like like what huh okay keep going kid we don't we see very very few kids it's super rare to find a kid that it's like like now if he was making an argument for like hey we should be growing <clears throat> hey thanks for the follow if, if he was making an argument like hey we should be growing our own crops and um you know working 
together in our communities and, and building mutual aids and things like that. Sure. But I feel like that's not what he means. <laughs> doing something, one specific thing that is really, really good, productive, and that they can keep their attention on and really work at it, work into it and do something good. So that's that's why the knife is important because it's a symbol for trying to mold something into something better. I mean, that piece of metal started off just a flat piece of metal that was probably about six inches long, and then it turned into a knife. That doesn't mean you have to teach your, your kids how to make a knife. It means that we have to make sure our kids can find something more meaningful, to find something more meaningful and mold something, mold themselves into something better than they previously were. We see that the World War II generation, which fought super hard in terrible wars and did things terrible, did, did things terrible so that they could sacrifice themselves for something better, something more like freedom. And we don't see that nowadays. We need to restore the traditional family, which is people having different roles and all contributing to the same thing. There it is. There it goes. Okay. Okay. I was wondering how self-aware he was of what he was saying, but now, okay, now we're getting to it. Okay. Now. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. All right. Tell me, tell me more about your hierarchy. Come on. Give me, tell me what these roles are. Uh, tell me what role do I have kid? all contributing to the same household, all contributing to the same family, all trying to make the... F yes, nothing says freedom like playing a role. Mm-hmm. Family better. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to go back to the 1950s where women basically stayed in the kitchen all the time doing the same thing. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that we need to make sure that everyone is an individual and can realize especially with kids that they are capable of things just so amazing that they don't even understand and that they can really sacrifice their time for something much better than themselves and it really starts off small like i said with the knife it starts off so small but then they can build and build and yes build he over is time. that's what we need to teach our kids and i think restoring the individual and which will restore the family Restoring the individual by giving them a role in the household. Nothing says freedom like being put in a box and given a role. What? Nothing says freedom like being drafted into a war and going off to a foreign land to be killed. <laughs> That's freedom, baby. We'll restore Western culture, Western society, where we have American flags, Canadian flags, all these. Is OK. Did we confirm? Is he Canadian? He has to be fucking Canadian. <clears throat> He has to be. He has to be Canadian. Why the fuck else would he constantly keep bringing this shit up? He has to be Canadian. Now he says free thinking American, man, but. It's like, what the fuck? Oh my God, he's a fucking larber. Jesus Christ, no. Now he, he, he man something man i don't know why he keeps bringing up this canadian flag shit like, what are you talking about symbols of freedom because you look at canada and kind of not the canadian flag i know is i know best symbol for freedom due to history how it wasn't necessarily just its own place but it's a symbol of freedom for the people that live there that want freedom same as the american flag same as many, many other flags. But, but that's the thing, one. like, initially, that's what I kept thinking, like, well, he doesn't really understand a lot of these concepts that he's, like, in support of, but then he goes a little bit deeper into it, and I'm like, okay, well, okay, you do understand it a bit more than just surface level. 
Like, like it's it's more than just talking points to him because he does get a bit more specific. Like, like when he finally started talking about roles in the family and shit, I'm like, oh, okay, now we're actually getting to something. But he's misguided, but I don't think he's lost specifically. I did at first, but I don't know. And like you said, he has videos about um well, he's he's um anti academia. Uh well yeah, no, no, he's definitely getting these talking points from somewhere. That's why I'm like, I, I would love to get a chance to talk to him and just find out like where like where like what what circles do you run in? Like like what what kind of ideological uh forebears do you like come from? Like who who informs like your opinions? One one is obviously the American flag. We need to restore the times where we where we had kids who were with Was Canada like really popular at some point and I just don't know about it? Like was there a time we flew Canadian flags? Like, were we just really proud of Canada at some point? And I just don't remember. ...to sacrifice themselves, whether that was their life, their time, their money, for not that flag, but the symbols, the freedom that lie within that flag every single second. We need to restore that. And we need to restore not only man, the man, men really that's what we need to restore men but we also need to restore women because women are also affected by this restore men to what restore women to what you can't just say this you have to explain what you mean restore what terrible ideology which really puts down both men and women all the time it puts women against each other and it makes women hate men and then makes men hate men it's really just against everyone so we need to restore strong men and strong women and go back not necessarily go back but go forward and advance more because this culture that we have now is really failing and it's an anti-freedom culture we need to force people to be in a culture that i think is right that way there will be more free checks out well holy shit well holy shit is it the man himself did you get my dm that quickly holy shit i mean if you want to talk now, I'd be totally down. Hey, no, yeah, man, it's totally cool. Hey, listen, listen, check it out. Um, hit me up on discord or you know dm me on twitter uh we can set up a day when you're free and work something out and yeah this weekend okay yeah like i said hit me up we'll figure it out <laughs> nice um yeah yeah no, no no totally totally max totally um i don't know if you want to stay here for this in the meantime but 
yeah no we'll, we're, we'll figure it out we'll talk soon definitely i'm definitely looking forward to it <clears throat> we need to restore this good culture and i think we can if we start by teaching our kids to do small things that can really build themselves like maybe just take your kid to a woodworking shop and just try to make a bench try to make a small bedside table table Try to do something small. Try to make sure that they know they can be capable of things that they didn't know they could be capable of previously. That's what we need to start off doing. Start off small and get bigger and bigger. But anyway, guys, I just want to make this quick video because I want to show that we're capable of doing good things. And I think that we need to restore this culture that we complain about um, not being around anymore. We complain about how this new culture is so bad, but you know, we don't do anything about it. We need to do something about it, and we need to teach people how to restore this culture, restore the individual, restore freedom, restore personal responsibility, because I want to make sure that people know uh. you can be so great if you take on your own personal responsibility and do, do things that you didn't even know you could do. That's really what we need to teach our kids mainly because they're the ones that are looking up to AOC that's playing Among, Among Us. Oh, no. Because video games. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Okay. So cool. And then, oh, now she's all cool. We can't let that happen. Because nowadays we see kids who have a hunger for personal responsibility, which is something is crazy. Maybe when a lot of you guys were kids, personal responsibility wasn't the the number one thing on your list. But nowadays, it is the number one thing on a lot of kids' lists, really. So we need to provide... You know, I think a big part of this that I'm having an issue with is... A lot of this sounds like a lot of... Mentorship talking points about how you control your own destiny and taking control of your life and and being hands-on and personal responsibility which all those things are good and important when we're talking about more general topics when we're talking about crime and poverty and wealth inequality and systemic racism and stuff like that it's it's really insulting to to start saying things like oh well you you'll be amazed at what you can do if you just put your mind to it like it's not there's nothing wrong with that inherently but that that's not an answer to these type of problems like do you know what i mean Th these what you're describing these are descriptions for or prescriptions for just like basic life problems but if if you live in a bad neighborhood that has shitty real estate value and go to a public school that gets little to no money because of the way it's funded through property taxes you you can't just say just work harder do better like you can't tell people who are in a lower class to just rise above and do better it doesn't work like that and then you also can't can't run around saying that that people aren't free and you're trying to make people freer by telling or like you literally made the argument in this that we can't let our kids be seeing AOC playing among us because that might endear our children to her and make her cool in their eyes. Aren't you taking away their freedom to, to choose what ideology they want to follow? 
like aren't you trying to conform them into a way of life that you agree with isn't that taking away their freedom freedom comes at the cost of conformity like true freedom is diversity you 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 can't ask for homogeneity and then say everyone's free now that that's the opposite of freedom <sighs> yes exactly freedom is chaos Exactly. We can't we can't <laughs> we can't co-sign making fucking uh 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 what's the term um Is it brood mares? I think is that it. That to them. And I think that that's how Okay. Yeah, I think he's done. Yeah, broodmare. Okay, yeah, that is a thing. Okay. A woman who has a multitude of children by different men typically does nothing else with her life, just like with horses. Jesus Christ. Okay, shit. <laughs> wow, that was that was pretty oh, that was pretty harsh. Oh, I do hope not. Pulling together is the aim of despotism and tyranny. Free men pull in all kinds of directions. Fucking true. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know if he's still in the chat or not, but I I would definitely be open to talking to you. Um, I hope we could get something together for this weekend. That would be awesome. Um, I think it's going to be interesting if we do get a chance to chat. I think it's going to be interesting. I, I would really be interested to know your uh, opinions on a few things. <laughs> DM me on Discord if it does. I want to consume. I got you, fam. I got you. Um. <laughs>